Good morning, Zambia. Good morning, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Botswana, Angola, Congo, Tanzania. Good morning, everyone. Zimbabwe. I'm very happy that you could join me today. And of course, we are trying to come in the morning as well for us to be able to set the agenda, kind of. I hope so. Today, I just want to address a very serious matter that has happened in Zambia in connection with the arrest of uh, Stephen Campion, the former Home Affairs Minister. And um, the reason why we, we need to talk about it is because it's, it's quite a very important and significant event. Now, um, you will agree with me, our, our dear Vakwetu uh, family, that the way this matter started, and, and even when the Patriotic Front was in power, we kept pleading with the Patriotic Front. We kept pleading with President Lungu, we were pleading with the Honorable Minister of Home Affairs and the entire Patriotic Front ruling executive. We were telling them, it was like a song we were singing every day, be fair in executing the trust of the Zambian people. Every day. When they were, right, when they were, um, uh, when they sent police riots on innocent citizens, it was like a chorus that we were singing. Be fair when you are in power. Be mindful of other people, of the citizens that you are serving. Be fair. That's what we were asking. Let the people enjoy their constitutional liberties. That's what we were saying every day. Some of you, our fellow citizens, you became extremely agitated and tired of us. And we have no regret over what we were saying. It is because we believed that Zambia can do better. That government in our republic could serve the interest of its citizens. We, believe it, we believed it very passionately. And that is why Every day, that was the song we were singing. And so the election happened, and there is a new leader in State House. We are extremely humbled by that. Now, you are definitely seeing our, 
our videos, like we're mocking, but mocking the patriotic front or mocking the people that are in a misfortune. Please do not misinterpret what we are trying to do. What we are trying to do is to add a little bit of humor in a very, very serious situation. We are happy that there is a new government. At the very least, what we expected was that those that had oppressed our people from the previous regime are going to realize uh, their own actions. You see, to err, is, to, to err is human. We are human. We could make mistakes. And so there is a very clear possibility that the people in the patriotic front, while they were ruling, they may have made mistakes. At the very least, after they lose power, what we expect is a little humility. Perhaps coming to the people of Zambia and saying, we are sorry, we made a mistake. We were arrogant. Instead of serving you, we used our power to crush you and oppress you. What do I expect from the previous regime personally? I, it's, not, it's not a lot. All I am expecting is a little sorry. A little sorry to those villagers in Imbala who were blocked and attacked by the police. Those villagers in Chipata who were tear gassed in Petaoke, who were tear gassed when this brutal regime was in power. Now, given an opportunity to reflect on their own actions, they have not done so. Instead, they have continued to add salt to injury, as it were. That's exactly what has happened. They have continued to do so. They have continued to think that the UPND is somewhat a weak government. They've continued to think that our president is a weak president and is not going to come after them. They are sadly mistaken. And they are mistaking the methodical way of doing things as a sign of weakness. It's not. And now that justice is prevailing and is catching up with them, is catching up with the previous regime, instead of responding with a sign of humility to the people of Zambia, they are pushing back and fighting back and saying all sorts of things against the, this new government. One of the things they're saying is that this new government is targeting the Bemba speaking people. That is just not true. If this government were a government that just wanted to oppress people, it would have done that on the very first day of its inauguration. It never did that. The president himself, through the inauguration speech, through the speech at parliament, he has made it very clear that there will be respect for the rule of law. And we have seen it with our own eyes. Gone are the days of arbitrary arrests. And arrests where people were just thrown into jail without access to police bond or bail. Those days are gone. We have seen signs that have changed on the human rights front. In the in hundred days, we have not seen the police tear gas anybody. Even when the investor of Zambia students tried to riot or tried to, to demonstrate, they were escorted back with honor and dignity. That is what we wanted to see. In these 100 days, we have seen that there is a restoration of the rule of law in our country. And that is what we wanted. That is what we voted for. Unfortunately, our friends, the former ruling party, the now opposition, is not taking that clue at all. This has nothing to do with tribal uh, persecution. Those who committed crimes, thinking that they'll be protected because they were Ushi like me, or Bemba like me, or anything like that, they're, they're, they're going to be sadly disappointed. If you have committed a crime, and you are not willing to come back to the people of Zambia, retain the loot that you have stolen, and say sorry for the brutality that you unleashed on our people, the law is definitely going to visit you. And that's why when we see, for example, Stephen Campiongo being arrested, truly there is this heart that goes out to say, hey, this is a human being. 
This is a human being who's been arrested. That humanity that you men had, that was denied to the people of Zambia for many years of the patriotic front rule. But today, those bad deeds are being visited. And all those that committed crimes against our people are beginning to pay. My appeal is that when the law visits you, you do not use tribe as a shield to defend yourself. You're going to be prosecuted. You're going to go to tell a judge. And if a judge believes in your story, then you're going to be acquitted. Otherwise, for now, we are extremely sorry for all these thieves that are being arrested and criminals that are being arrested, alleged criminals that are being arrested. Extremely sorry. But the time and a signal must be sent to all of our people. When you have been given an opportunity to serve, serve with all your heart. Do not abuse the trust of your people. Do it diligently. Do it faithfully. Otherwise, the police, DEC, and SEC are in overdrive right now, working very hard to bring every criminal to book. This is what we voted for. And this is exactly what is happening. 100 days later. All right? Elias Moshe here on TV Vagueto. Good morning. God bless you and God bless our country.